Hey everyone, this is uh, Emma and I starting the, say hi Emma. Hi. Hi. Uh, anyway, we're uh, getting started at our chicken brooder and you can see we are using the Joel Salatin, sorry my camera is not the best, I'm trying to get things set up here, but we're using the Joel Salatin uh, book that he's created and it's called um, Polyface Design, Polyface Design. So yeah, it's it's really good book. It shows uh, beginners step by step instructions on how to put it together. So I'm just gonna set the camera back. Emma and I are gonna be working away at uh, the brooder, and we'll put this maybe in in uh, in. Uh, we'll speed up the video, and you guys will be able to see how we've constructed it. Okay. I want to mention too the uh, Milwaukee. Battery powered, so this is part of our going off grid. We got everything battery powered, so I'll do a review on that saw once I uh, have a chance to use it more. But I just got it not too long ago, so I'm gonna use it, and uh, we'll do a review on that uh, on that chop saw. We had to we had to go off for a minute but we haven't you didn't miss out on much because uh, Emma and I are just getting the seasoning on the floor and Emma's using a drill for first time Emma? I don't know. Not the first time probably but she doesn't have a lot of it. she'll get it. Give you an update on where we're at. Here's Emma. We just come back in from lunch. We've got the floor, as you can see there. Pretty well almost done. So we're starting on the uh, Emma's gonna finish screwing off the walls and then uh, or sorry, screwing off the floor. And then we're gonna start on the walls. Okay. We'll keep you updated. We're back again. So just give me an update. We We've had a few uh, stops, supper time, had to go pick a pally from work, um, but uh, Emma's been sticking with me through it all, we're getting it done, and this is what we have. So we've got one of the gable ends pretty well together, a little bit more sheathing on it, and, uh, and then we'll be able to stand it and start the other one over here on this side. Um, Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna get back at it tomorrow. All right, have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good day, everyone. It's day two of the chicken brooder. We're just getting up, having some breakfast. Here's Joni making a coffee. Say hi, Joni. Hi. There she is. We're gonna go see if all the kids are up here. Just gonna check it out. Oh, Emma's still in bed. Doing the uh, we got the first gable end wall set up. You seen yesterday or I guess uh, the last 
slept for a little bit uh, laying on the floor, so we just have stood up. And uh, we're starting on the next Cape Land piece. We should have it all done today, so keep watching and see it, see it constructed. We have the other gable end up. You'll have to excuse the junk that's behind this thing. I just cleaned up from spraying and we're gonna haul that off to the dump. But anyway, that's uh, gable end up and onto the eave or the side walls. thumbs up so <laughs> stop it that so it is currently 9 40 the girls have been out helping me today here's Sophia in here as well Sophia and Emma that was awesome to be able to have their help because I definitely wouldn't have got done what we got done today we got a lot done today you can see here's the brooder the only thing that we've got to do is the uh, bridge cap on the top and we've got to do the vents there in the, get my finger going right here, the vents in the, uh, in the gable ends, um, but it's turned out really well. So there was a few challenges, which probably tomorrow when I get uh, maybe some of those vents on, I'll go over that and break it down. But um, one thing just being uh, here in Canada, uh, we don't have, or I guess our local hardware doesn't have the selection of nine foot um, sheathing like what they have um, at, uh, that maybe Joel Salatin has uh, available in which 
He's also gone over in his book, or as uh, called out in his book, was the uh, four by nine sheets. So anyway, we only have four by eight, so that means that we had to go through and recalculate and uh, refigure on lengths of everything so the walls are, are narrower uh, than what Joel had in his book. Uh, but yeah, after we had, got it all done, so we worked on it yesterday afternoon and today. Uh, a lot of running around, getting the girls off to friends' houses and and uh, dinners and had an awesome turkey dinner today that Joni prepared. It was really great and uh, yeah, nice, nice, beautiful Saturday. So we'll uh, talk to you uh, in the next video where we just finish this out. But uh, for now, God bless and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, it's uh, Jeremy here with Us Plus 7 back. Day three, uh, just finishing up a few things here. It's uh, Sunday, I figured I'd come out and just put a few pieces of the, uh, the window um, the vent spot there together to put the plastic on that. And yeah, anyway, I just figured I'd uh, turn the camera on and show the rest of uh, finishing cutting up this stuff here, put that on, and then we'll just uh, finish up the video. camera off for a little bit to get everything all cleaned up you can see it looks a little bit better in here now anyway um, so I just wanted to give you a, a rundown on the on this chicken brooder so Joel Salatin uh, chicken brooder I have the book right. so you can see this is the model that we had that we built on so just some of the things uh, here in Canada as I've, I had said there before, um, we don't have, uh, you know, the hardware stores don't carry the zip products that he's listed in, uh, he listed in his book. So we've just gone with the standard four by eight plywood and with going with that, then we obviously had to change some of the sizes, um, of our lumber from the cut list. You know, we've got a few pieces of cutoffs that we were left with, but, uh, but not much and uh yeah everything everything worked well uh we're pretty well finished but because we use plywood i'll probably end up painting the uh sides um and because i have a metal shop then uh, i'll probably cap i do have to have a ridge cap on there anyway but i'll cap these sides here all off um, with some some light gauge metal screw it off and it'll be good and watertight and, and uh I would last a long time with it with it that way so the vents in the end I just I guess I got to make a couple prop sticks just to hold them up but they they work really well once I get a better camera then I'll be able to be able to uh, you know get up close to things and show you maybe how that how it works but anyway we're uh, finishing finishing this the next project that we're going to be working on is uh, probably over to the land we've got to get our um, we have to get the uh, fencing corral done up there for the cattle that's coming uh, we haven't got anything started yet but 
Again, we're looking looking forward to the challenge of uh, of, uh, of getting that set up and having the cows come. I think they're in like three weeks or something like that. And yeah, we haven't got anything started. So um, anyway, um, that's the next thing. And then after that, uh, another few more weeks after that, or actually a couple weeks after that, we have, um, we have, uh, I think there's a hundred laying hens coming. So we're going to make a egg mobile and and then after that we have some turkeys coming so we got to build some shelters for them and get some uh, some poultry netting uh, purchased and get set up so a lot of a lot happened in the next few weeks but anyway um, so you can see the the chicken brooder worked well uh, plan is to you know we got 200 birds coming the in two weeks and then uh, I think it's a month after that or four weeks after that we have Another 200 coming, and then another month after that, another 200. So we'll be, we'll get lots of use out of this, uh, out of this brooder. The other thing too is the, uh, is the, um, the heat lamp. Where where our house is off grid, then I do have to purchase a uh, propane fired um, uh, heat lamp. But it's they're not as common in Canada, so I, I think I got to find it out of the, out of the U.S. from American friends and. Uh, get that shipped over so I think because we are still at our you know at our home in town where we do have power as you can see then it'll probably set outside the garage here for uh, for probably the first batch until we can get our propane fired uh, heater where we can move it over to the other property so but uh, anyway that uh, that's the chicken brooder so but, Emma, Emma helped a lot on building this, and Sophia helped a lot yesterday. So, I want to say thanks to uh, thanks to both of them and uh, Hallie and Maddie. Uh, we're going to get them involved in the next project. So, and while we were out here working yesterday, Joni was inside. I mentioned there earlier we had a, uh, a turkey dinner, so she obviously was busy doing that, and spring cleaning, trying to get uh, things ready because we have our house posted and up for sale. So have a showing there in a couple of weeks but uh, anyway just uh, thanks for thanks for watching and um, you know I'll get better with this recording uh, thing as as we uh, move forward learn a lot of stuff and yeah if there's any comments or any thoughts uh, let me know and, and we'll speak to you and we'll see you later so God bless and, and uh, hope you enjoyed and we'll see you soon